Hey everybody, Ramey here. And today what I want to do is I'm going to talk about esports and education. What role do esports have in education? Why should you have why should a school have esports? I want to talk about that. I'm going to use research to back up my, what I'm going to say because believe it or not, guess what? Esports can actually help schools accomplish their mission. They can it can please parents. Surprisingly, yes it can. I'll tell you how it does that. Um, it can help students um, and it can help the school. So let's talk about all that stuff. So first of all, biggest thing, it's been shown time and time again in numerous studies that playing video games leads to greater problem solving skills, greater higher order thinking skills, um, higher achievement in school and higher grades in school. In general, students that play video games for fun, this isn't like games for learning, playing games for fun leads to better grades and achievement in schools and problem solving ability. All right, that's point number one, which is a huge, 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 significant point. It should be just that alone is great. Okay, next. Engagement and retention. Um, having esports or any kind of extracurricular activity in school, like something the students can participate in, like a competitive esports league, leads to behavioral engagement in the classroom, more regular the students actually want to come to school like better class attendance um, and allow students to perform leadership and create and learn how to perform in teams like greater teamwork skills all right point number two that's point number two point number three inclusion students that didn't really feel like they were a part of the school all of a sudden they feel like they belong to something um, because maybe they weren't involved in whatever athletic sport or band or something like that that gave them that school spirit and now they feel like they belong. Um, many times when we don't include this kind of stuff, we're like, uh, we're telling a certain portion of the population like they don't belong and this allows them to do that. That's point number three. Point number four, responsibility and ethics. What do you do? So let me ask you this question. What do you do when a parent says, hey, my kid's at home playing video games all the time. What are you guys doing to teach them about this stuff? Having esports at a school teaches students responsible gaming. Because believe it or not, you can play too many video games. But guess what? You can also drink too much water. Drinking wa too much water actually will kill you. So guess what? Playing too many video games, doing too much of anything. It's never good. It's all about moderation. Esports actually teaches students about moderate gaming. And usually after you play like a video game for about an hour to an hour and a half, you're actually doing yourself a disservice after that by playing for like four hours. So it teaches students responsible gaming. So we're telling parents, hey, guess what? We're teaching your kids about responsible gaming. A plus for the parents. They're super happy. Then you tell them, hey, and guess what? Your kid's going to be the, the chances overall, most of these students are going to perform better in school. They're going to feel included in the school um, and they're going to be more engaged and want to actually come to class. So all positive, positive things. This is why esports programs can do really, really well in a school. Why I'm uh, all about, you know, helping schools set them up and telling them the advantages of doing this and how to do it correctly so that it, it does actually do all this good stuff. So. Those are my four big reasons, learning, engagement, and retention, inclusion, um, and responsibility ethics. Thank you guys. Have a good day.